Uh, all right, so th- when we talked yesterday, it was a done deal. It was it was passed on a fifteen three vote. NIL uh, will be would would be the lay of the land in high school athletics as of July one, uh, and then the state legislature uh, I guess passed uh, state bill or Senate bill six thirty six, which basically cut the legs out of it. Is that correct? Yeah, well, first of all, I just want to say um, you're not going to have kids making a lot more money than I know coaches. that. I know uh, that. Not going to happen. Right. Uh, <laughs> yesterday, they they said the average high school NIL deal was between sixty and one hundred twenty dollars, and if that's going to ruin the locker room, we've got big. <laughs> so, right. Uh, it's just not going to happen. Right. Um, in terms of the state legislature, so the state legislature has a series of bills that they've been putting through that would impact high school athletics at different levels. Senate Bill 636 is one that would really strip the NCHSA of much of its authority to do anything Mm -hmm. to govern high school sport. Uh, Yesterday, that was uh, amended uh, shortly after the Board of Directors passed this NIL policy. It was amended to say that the NCHSA does not have the authority to uh, decide amateur rules, including name, image, and likeness policies, that that sits with the State Board of Education. Um, so, yes, that means that what the, the what the NCHSA board of directors did yesterday is, for now, null and void. That said, this bill, in terms of that, doesn't really change that much, to be honest with you, right. because right. after past legislation that they uh, got through that was trying to take authority away from the NCHSA, uh, this has been an ongoing thing for like two or three years now. Um, the anything that the NCHSA passes any new rule or rule change has to be approved by the State Board of Education. So that would include an IL. Yeah. So uh, this was already going to have to go through a review process anyway. Um, so, you know, I think that this is more of a political uh, statement from the senators who mm-hmm. have been going after the NCHSA than it was a material change. Um, you know, I do think that one of the other amendments made in this bill that, that puts language in there, it allows the state superintendent to unilaterally uh, get rid of the agreement that they have with the NCHSAA to continue to run high school sports in North Carolina with just six months notice. Um, mm-hmm. And I think there's a lot of questions out there right now about why would you even put that in there if you don't plan on using it? So, um, you know, I think there's some big, big things coming uh, that we're going to keep a really close eye on when it comes to high school sports in the state legislature. All right, so, I mean, I don't know if you knew what my next question was going to be, Nick Stevens, managing editor of HighSchoolOT.com, but I was going to say, I get the sense this has really nothing to do with name, image, and likeness, and it has everything to do with a power play. Um, and I, I, is is that a fair question? Also, there's some fam- familiarity with the, uh, I guess, the primary sponsor of Senate Bill 636 and an incident that he was not happy with about two, uh, two or so years ago with a uh, high school being banned from the state football uh, championships. We'll talk about that in a second. But is, is it fair to say that this almost has nothing to do with NIL, that this is a bigger and broader issue? I mean, I think it's a fair thing to ask. Um, I, I think we need to ask the state legislators that question. Um, they said yesterday, uh, Senator Vicki Sawyer, who's one of the three mm-hmm. primary sponsors of the bill and has been part of this investigation into the NCHSA for so many years, uh, she said something along the lines of, this isn't a direct quote, but that the NCHSA was trying to exploit children. And, you know, I, I think that what the NCHSA is doing is quite the opposite <laughs> and to keep children from being exploited. Um, by putting these uh, these rules and regulations out there, so um, and and in terms of a power play, like you look at how many bills have been filed in the legislature lately, and it is it's literally everything from mandating that schools allow people to pay with cash instead of with an app or a card uh, to uh, how they manage the classifications and their realignment. Yeah. That's something that's a big deal right now. I mean, it, it's all these topics uh, that if all this goes through, will really render the NCHSA, I mean, useless, to be frank. All right, and th- that leads me to the next thing, because I do think y- you you raised the point, Nick Stevens is with us, managing editor of HighSchoolOT.com. Um, you raised the point that they put this clause in that allows them to essentially uh, eliminate, with a six-month notice, the North Carolina High School Athletic Association, uh, of which I, th- I think my my conversations there's like 50 what 15 uh employees 
Uh, Give or take. Oh, yeah. Right, over in uh, Chapel Hill. I mean, yeah, jobs, whatever. Uh, I don't want anybody to lose their job anywhere at any time for any reason uh, unless you deserve it. Uh, and mm-hmm. I don't think those people deserve it. Um, what are they going to do then? Who's going to run high school athletics? Who's going to run? I mean, there's a lot of different things that go into it. This is not just getting a committee together and saying, all right, what do we do? Uh, how do we seed these teams? How do we do, what do we do for this championship? There's a lot going on here. Yeah, I, I have no idea what the answer to that question is. Um, that would be, again, a question that the legislators would have to answer should that time come where – um, they decide that the NSHSA is no longer going to be the party that oversees high school athletics. Um, so, you, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think that there's a lot of uncertainty ahead. I was listening to the NSHSA commissioner speak this morning to the membership mm. um, in a virtual uh, meeting that they had, and uh, she basically said the same thing. Um, you know, the future's uncertain for high school athletics in North Carolina right now uh, because of all of the, the legislation that's out there. Some of the legislation contradicts each other. Um, you know, it, it's just... No way. It's, <laughs> it, well, I mean, some of what was in... Sorry. Six, some of what was in 636, um, it may have been amended out now. It's been amended so many times. Right. Was, uh, you know, the classifications would have to, have to be determined based solely on the enrollment numbers of a school. Well, now you have the, the charter school omnibus bill in the House that says, well, okay, sure, except charter schools and, and parochial schools, yours is going to be based on something else. Uh, right. <laughs> so those two things, if, if both of those things get passed, those two things are not you know, congruent with one another. <laughs> Nick Stevens, you have work to do. Uh, maybe maybe oh, you'll just run high school athletics in the state of North Carolina. I can assure you that's not going to happen. <laughs> I don't know, man. At, at some point, it might it might fall on you. Uh, that, no, no, I would have to agree to that, and there's no chance of me doing that. So. <laughs> going to point you grand poobah. Uh, that is Nick Stevens, managing editor, highschoolot.com. Thank you very much, my friend. Thanks, Adam.